sir. Our next guest tonight is far too classy a woman to be on this program. She is the veteran of over 70 motion pictures, including A Day at the Races, The Thin Man, and the original Jane in a slew of Tarzan movies. Her latest film is Hannah and Her Sisters. Please welcome Maureen O'Sullivan. for being here. You look terrific. Uh, congratulations. Uh, wait, no, you couldn't be much of an effort. You're a stunning woman. Oh, well, thank you. Sure. Uh, uh, it must be very uh, exciting being a part of this film. It's doing so well, Hannah and her sisters. Oh, I'm very happy. Yeah. I'm happy for everybody, and I'm especially, I guess, happy for Woody. What was it like working with, with him and uh, your daughter on the set and so forth? Was it tense? A lot of uh, oh, anxiety? No, no, there's uh, no tension, really, on Woody's yeah. sets. Uh, you're just there to work. And I had worked really, it's funny, I'd worked with Mia before. I'd played her daughter. You played I'd Mia's played daughter? daughter. Now how did, how did only, that happen? Well, only in readings. They didn't have enough actors oh, when they were doing The Great yeah. Gatsby. So they needed somebody to play the daughter. Uh -huh. So I played the five-year-old daughter mm -hmm. in all the readings. <laughs> and we were so serious about it. It was crazy, you know, that we looked at each other and it was all over. He said, are we nuts? You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's the matter with us? It's very you odd. be so serious yeah. about doing something. Like that. No, she's very easy to work uh -huh. with. And, when, and, and, and not that we want to spend the rest of the night talking about him, but what's he like to be around? Uh, Woody is uh, very much business. You know, uh -huh. he, he's there for business. He's very, very nice to be around. He's very, he's wonderful in this way. Uh, you don't rehearse much. or If he wants you to do something, he'll tell you. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's just do it. Mm -hmm. And then he'll say, well, I either like it or I don't like it. And then I think that he uh, sees what you have to offer. Yeah. And he'll enlarge on that, and uh, if he feels a certain sympathy, well, then he'll, he'll play upon that. So that's it's really... A, it's a lovely way of that's working. That's good for an actor, I would guess. It's wonderful yeah. for an actor. And if I have time, I just thought of something interesting. I think that... Good Lord, look at that ring. <laughs> Whoa! That's a beauty, is I that... I want to tell you, it's my engagement ring. Oh, my. <laughs> I was married three years ago, so don't give up hope, fellas. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Boy, that's... It's quite a, quite a rock there. I know. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. You're going to say something else? No, I was going to say about Woody's working. Uh, uh, Woody, I think, shoots a lot of film. Mm -hmm. Whereas my hu former husband, John Farrow, wouldn't shoot anything more mm -hmm. except what he was going to use on yeah. camera. But Woody, I think, shoots a lot of film. And then he, uh, he's like a musician. Then he'll say where the crescendo should be mm -hmm. or the diminuendo. Because um, he had me do a close-up three different ways. Because he said, I may want to lift it, mm -hmm. or I may want to subdue it. Yeah. or uh, I think he thinks not only like a writer, but like a, a, a musician, too. And, and you think that's a, a good way to approach it? Oh, I do, because yeah. Woody is the whole thing. He writes it, directs it, stars it. What more can you yeah. do? Uh, anyway, again, it's doing very well for, for everybody concerned. Let's talk about other people that you've worked with. Yeah. This Is this you and uh, uh, Groucho, Groucho Marx? Yeah. This is from what, A Day at the Races? The is that what we said? Uh, what was this man like? He was adorable. He was Well, you're, you're a hot ticket there, aren't you? <laughs> Not bad. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, and he was a nice man, easy to he get along with? He was a very gentle man, oddly enough. And uh, when we first started working together, we worked at Santa Anita, the racetrack, right. you know, a lot. And we had dressing rooms, separate dressing rooms. And he'd come in and knock on my door. He'd say, hey, honey, how does this sit with you? And he'd tell me a gag, frozen face. Yeah. The next morning, he'd say, listen, I got another one to tell you, frozen face. The third morning, I said, listen, Groucho, I really hate funny men. Yeah. I will never laugh. I said, so don't tell me any more jokes. Not at nine in the morning, yeah. anyway. <laughs> I said, I, 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 like, um, I like humor to come out of something else, but no gags. Yeah. He said, you're so right, honey. He said, I won't. So from then on, we were inseparable friends. We really were. He used to bring me lunch instead yeah. of jokes. So oh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, and this, this is quite a photo. This was, uh, don't tell me, this must have been from one of those Tarzan movies? Yeah. <laughs> Now, do you, do you tell, tell me who everybody in this photo is. Who, me? Yeah. Well, that's Jane. Me. <laughs> Wear a 
having my mother Hubbard because they objected to my first costume, which was much more sexy and exciting. Johnny Weissmuller, Johnny Sheffield, and a horrible little creature called Cheetah. Cheetah. <laughs> horrible. Uh, it, uh, how did you get along with Cheetah? Well, Cheetah, when first Cheetah came on the set, she was adorable. A little young mm -hmm. monkey. And I really loved her. Mm -hmm. And I could tell she loved me. We were just, we were great friends. Mm -hmm. And then one day, I saw a rather mean look come into her eyes. And uh, I began to notice. I mean, you don't go looking for such things. No. But I began to see that Cheetah, the girl, was not a girl, was a, was a male. Oh, oh, oh. Now, not a... <laughs> listen, I must say, my husband said, look, now, don't get carried away on the show. He said, lay off those monkey jokes. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you're supposed to be a lady. Now, lay off. Lay off the monkey <laughs> jokes, huh? Uh, anyway, I began to... <laughs> Should I lay off or No, go no. Off? Now, what do you mean? So, uh, obviously, so anyway, there was... There began okay. to be a physical change. So, I began to see that she was really uh -huh. a, a, a male. A male. Well, not only was she a male, but she was a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and, and how exactly did this manifest itself? But, uh... It was very bad because she conceived this passion for Johnny Weissmuller. For Johnny Weissmuller? Really a passion. No kidding. No kidding. And, yeah, lots of women did too, but anyway, this monkey did. Crazy <laughs> about Johnny. And every time I would go near Johnny, I would see this wicked look. She'd get ready to spring at me. Yeah. Now, what is unusual about this photograph that you have there is that a lot of the photographs are of myself and Johnny together. You know, he has his arm around me. Uh -huh. You will see Cheetah standing with one leg way out of the camera. And you know why that is? Because it was on a chain. So that, it, so that she would not attack me. Oh, is that right? <laughs> so she was held on a chain. Yeah, so you, you can actually see just a little bit of it uh, uh, along the uh, limb up. there. Yeah, oh, yeah, she yeah. was really tied off. See, you would only see just like, you know, just like that much of her, you know. Yeah, so Cheetah was, was actually jealous of you and your jealous, relationship. Yes, yeah, very jealous. Yeah. So it got to be so bad that, of course, you couldn't play all the scenes in the film with one leg yeah. out of the camera for the monkey off. The <laughs> they had to show the whole animal at times. Yes, yeah. yeah. Did so the whole animal was rather embarrassing, if you know what I mean, because it, it had this physical attraction. But <laughs> it was completely physical. No kidding. Yes, it was just as physical as it That must have been be. terribly distracting. It was also... <laughs> Or, or, or maybe a bonus. I don't know. I, I don't know. How do you... <laughs> it was not only physical. <laughs> But the monkey is brown, you know. Uh huh. And the physical was pink. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I haven't. I haven't finished this drama. Brown and pink. So then came a question of camouflaging this passion. <laughs> oh. so hey, no, no, don't tell me it was spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Come on. So the makeup man, the makeup man was called in. And the he said, would you take care of this situation? And the makeup man said, no. <laughs> he said, uh, my union wouldn't permit it. <laughs> oh, says the director, this is bad. So then he called in the prop man, and he said, would you take care of the situation? <laughs> no, said the prop man. My union would not right. permit me to do such a thing. Well, finally, the poor animal, they had, the, they had to shoot it with BB guns, and then it would run way up in the, uh, in the roof and lose all its ardor, you see. Oh. I mean, just tidy shots. Oh, they yeah. Didn't kill it. Yeah. Well, that's, that's really uh, not yeah. a pleasant story <laughs> any way you look at it. That's... Could I just tell you the end? Um, yeah. Well, I met William Wellman at a party who directed one of the Tarzans, and a very famous director, Wings and so on. And so he said, did you know Cheetah's in the zoo? And I said, good, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so she, he said, why don't you go up and visit 
than them, go visit her in the zoo. And I did. I went to Griffith Park. Uh -huh. And here's this enormous animal. I mean, enormous. Yeah. It's grown to be huge now in a cage. So next time I saw Bill, Bill said, did she should know you? And I said, oh, yes. She spat right in my face. No kidding. <laughs> I remember you. Yeah. Boy, that's too bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, how many of those films were you in? I think it's five, but I'm not five sure. Of, yeah. mm -hmm. And uh, we got all kinds of other stuff to talk about. What do we yeah, do? Yeah, we'd better get off. Okay, no, 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 we don't have to get off. We'll, we'll stay right here. We'll do a commercial, and then uh, we'll be right back with uh, Maureen and Sullivan. <laughs> Sullivan is here, and uh, let's talk about uh, uh, Clark Gable. You worked with him yeah, as well? Yeah, let's do that, because I could never go home after those monkey stories. No, that was a great story. That's a I great story. I me out. No, no, he shouldn't. And you told it uh, very nicely, I think. Did you think I was refined? You, you were quite refined, <laughs> and you uh, you told it with a, a delicacy and a great deal of wit, and I think we all enjoyed it. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> now, uh, uh, what films did you work with uh, Clark Gable? Strange Interlude, something else, but I particularly remember Strange Interlude because uh, I didn't come on until the last part of the picture, mm -hmm. and they were made up like very old people, Norma Shearer, and he, it was the very end, I don't know if you know the story, and you talk back to your thoughts and that. Anyway, well, there's two stories, but I think I'll tell you the best one. I think it's the best. That's a, it's a good policy for, for, for people wanting theory. to be future guests yeah, on this show. Tell us the better story I first. Perhaps it's the yeah. best one, I don't know. Anyway, I saw these two old characters there, you know, and I was quite young at the time. Mm -hmm. How old Not were you? even 19. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I was 19. Yeah. But I didn't go to films, and I'd never seen Clark Gable, and I didn't know much who Norma Shearer was. And I saw these two characters with gray hair, and it must be a very good makeup, really. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, two nice old folk. So I sat there talking, and Clark Gable was talking to me, and talking and talking, and finally he says, uh, would you like to go horseback riding with me? Mm -hmm. With you. Aren't oh, you too old? I said to myself, <laughs> I'd be galloping ahead, you know, yeah. and, and I, you'd be in the rear. <laughs> so I said, oh, well, I, I don't think I can go. So then he asked me out to dinner, and I said, uh, in the evening with this old guy. <laughs> oh, I, well, I didn't realize maybe this isn't the best story after all. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I didn't realize until we did the recording, the looping, and he had no yeah. makeup on, just how, 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 how young he was. He came back and he was his and he dashing was young self. And I thought, what have yeah. I missed? What a fool. Did, did he, uh, yeah. did, did you ever have another opportunity to have dinner no, with him? No, he never asked me again. That was it, huh? That was yeah. it. That's too bad. But he did do something that I thought was funny. It's very quick, okay? Okay. He used to sit talking to me, as I said before. And the uh, <laughs> prop man came over, or the assistant director. He said, Miss Shearer would really appreciate it if Mr. Gable would stop talking to Miss O'Sullivan between scenes. She expected him to have his mind on his work, I suppose. And he said, what did I hear? Well, you tell Miss Shearer what she can... No, I'll tell her. <laughs> so he goes over and he said, Norma, do you know what you can do? He said, and he lets his teeth down, his choppers come right down there. Uh -huh. Is that what you could do? <laughs> <laughs> so, that was very funny. <laughs> no, you're all right. You're all right yeah, here. Don't, don't worry. Time. It's, yes, uh, it, we have peaks and valleys. Anyway, he was uh, We're all right. We're all right. He loved letting his teeth down. You, you're saying that he had, he had... False teeth. He fa false teeth. I didn't yeah. realize that. Oh, didn't yeah. you know no, that? No, I didn't he know He called that. them choppers. Uh -huh. And so he, if ever he was annoyed... You mean in, in the heyday of his matinee idol star status, he had false teeth? Choppers. Yeah. Uh, we got we got one minute left. Tell me a story, or tell me about somebody that you may have worked with or knew uh, who you didn't care for, who was no fun to be around, uh, aside from the monkey, well, obviously. But Will Rogers, really. Will Rogers. Now that's interesting. I'm stepping on a lot of toes. Because this man built a career as being folksy, down home. And saying he never met the. Uh, I never met a man I didn't like. He didn't say he never met a woman he didn't like. <laughs> really. Was he, uh, he, he, was, uh, he was nasty to you, rude to you, impolite? He was, uh, <coughs> he never spoke to me. Yeah. I could have been a piece of furniture. I was very glad he didn't speak because I was afraid what, what he might have said. Uh -huh. <laughs> a very sharp tongue. 
Uh, did he have a reputation as being somebody who was nasty? Uh, off Could be. To, very oh, yeah, nasty. Yeah. There's an actress, and I think it would be unkind to mention her name, although I'm generally unkind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh, there's an actress involved here? No, who, who was the actress? Is somebody oh, we no, would know? We, we can't be that unkind. Okay. But he had to kiss her in the scene. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, tell her to take off her lipstick and put on mercurochrome. Ooh. It's pretty sharp, isn't Yeah, it? yeah. And, and See why I don't want to mention her name? No, tell us who it was. Uh-uh. Is... <laughs> Yes. Uh, or she... It wasn't me. No, it wasn't you. No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. no, no, no. Uh, well, that's strange. And, uh, you know, speaking of... You, you also worked in this building, didn't you, on the old Today Show, the very early Today Show, I believe, right? I'd rather not mention that, but you brought it up, yes. Well, now, why would... No, you should mention that. That's oh, a... sure, it's all right. I was absolutely awful. No. I was. What did they have you doing on I was on terrible. It? Well, they were starting out with women on the show. It was before Barbara Walters. Mm -hmm. And, um... I, d I just couldn't ask questions. Mm -hmm. I can't ask questions. Yeah. I can answer them sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but ask them when I can. How did, how did they uh, get you for that job? Well, I, they saw me on an interview, and I guess I was funny. Oh, she'd be terrific. Was, uh, yeah, yeah. Be, well, you may I get a call from them tomorrow after this. <laughs> <laughs> well, the most awful one was when I inter had to interview Kenneth the hairdresser, and my first question was, do you like women? Uh -huh. He was so angry, he got up and he left the set. <laughs> Kenneth, Kenneth, the hairdresser. We'll, uh, we'll be right back, folks. Okay, uh, we're out of time, Maureen. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, tomorrow, folks... Oh, I'm sorry. John Stravinsky was going to be with us. We'll have him uh, rescheduled as soon as possible. Tomorrow, it's New York City Parks Commissioner Henry Stern. Good night, folks. <laughs>